Greetings everyone and welcome back to the town of Medusa's Raft in Rimworld where unfortunately it looks like Nebula Bomb's actually in a bit of a bad mood. What's wrong Nebula Bomb? Cooked cannibalism. I ate a meal made of the meat of another human. This is horrible. What? Well, why did you do that? <laughs> oh my lord. We're, we're only cooking like a couple of fine meals. Really? Oh no, is everyone doing this? Is this something that everyone's doing? Because they're like, oh, well, this is much better than the other one. Um, no, oh, you were also rebuffed by Al Young. Well, yeah, and Miss Minnie. I, I mean, Al Young is married. Nebula Bomb, don't, don't be a cause. Don't, don't be this. Ah, uh, this is going to go badly. I, there's people who are going to... I mean, on, on the plus side, you'll stop having to worry about having eaten someone if someone else eats you. I mean, there is that, I suppose. You know, that that has to be considered a, a win in some way. Now then, in this episode, I think we are, well, frankly, in desperate need of an actual hospital. Um, I think we definitely need a place where people can go to get better. So let's start marking this out. I think this area would be good for that. Let's uh, get that nailed down. We'll also have a door right about there, I'm thinking. That should be plenty good. Major break risk. Yeah, that is unfortunate. Nebula bomb. Hmm. We, have we got any smoke leaf? Yes. Nebula bomb, can I get you to go smoke that? There we go. Make that a priority for yourself. Uh, also, in here, one of the things we can do is we can actually add some extra joy items, which would be rather nice, I think. Let's make it out of marble blocks. In fact, for the time being, the only thing that we have in this colony for people to do is play chess. So that can be the group entertainment. You can just all sit on the couch watching each other play chess. I think that'll work. Uh, what are we researching at the moment? We should be researching this, but we are not. There we go. That should help out in the very near future. Uh, everything else seems reasonably good for the time being, though. We do need that to be cleared out. We need Dark Avak doing a lot more work. Uh, consuming a fine meal. What what are you up to at the moment, Dark Havoc? You are taming a, taming a turkey. That is perfectly fine. And now we are getting more things. The bug meat, I mean, to be fair, causes a lot of lot of damage. But in the end, it was actually pretty good. Oh, that should really be critical. And this one should be important, shouldn't it? So that I actually get things moved to the correct location. Okay. No, don't, don't, don't consume potatoes. That was a silly thing for me to tell you to do. Could you instead... Oh, okay. Oh, oh there we go. Strawberries are being moved over there. There we go. But... Ah, there we go. Nebula Bomb's cheering up a little bit now. Okay, well, we've got some smoke leaf leaves. I could, I suppose, make a, a little area for working on things, just back here, I suppose. Um, it would be super cramped, though. Uh, let's make it a little bit bigger, shall we? Let's not make it that cramped. That being said, I really don't actually want to go through that wall. So we'll make it a double-thick wall in here. Um, perhaps. As you may have noticed, I have chopped that wall down, so let's get that smoothed out. We also want to move the power around a little bit. Uh, that can go, and instead we'll have the power running down there, and then we'll connect it over here. So it's a, a little bit more redundant again, and we'll have a vent right about there, and a heater in this bedroom. There we go, that should be wonderful. We're generally getting the heat balanced around most of the colony at this point. Point. And we're doing quite well with power as well, despite all of that work. Uh, what else is going to be going on here? Well, we've got a lot of things going on there that we're going to need to deal with. I'm going to be very happy to have a chest set for people, though. That will be a, a big a big win for us. Nebula Bomb is starting to get happier, though. High on Smoke Leaf, that is, that is doing a lot of good. And also tons of joy is balancing some things out as well. But as a whole, we're going to be setting this little area up here for some like just general construction work. Uh, I imagine we can get a few little things in there. Uh, in fact, we could just make it this big ultimately and leave that as a cavity. Mm, I'm not sure about that. We'll, we'll see. As for over here, though, we've it's going to take us a little while to get this area properly set up, but we'll do our best all the same. 
Uh, we are going to want a fairly sturdy wall going up there. Three, three. Well, that is going to mean that this is not going to be quite as balanced as I would like. So we'll get rid of that one instead. And then build that up like that. There we go. We'll have the door right there. there and we will also get a let's see we want a regular metal floor now the thing is this is fairly deep into the into the mountain if we get an infestation it's going to be a decent chance it'll end up being there that would suck i'll be honest with you aaron from the loyal vipers was wandering nearby and noticed you could use some help he would like to join the colony for a while he's a luddite rebel and his traits are brawler pyromaniac and slowpoke no thank you but no I appreciate your desire to join with us, but uh, I don't. Oh, Elyang, no, 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 move, move away. Wah. That was risky. That was very risky. Let's move you down here. The problem is, I really do actually want that uh, beaten out. So, Elyang, everyone wake up. Everyone go and deal with this. You're going to have to wall work pretty hard, because this can't be allowed to get out of control. If it does, then we are going to be in a lot of danger. You just really need a lot of people to help with that kind of thing, otherwise it just, it just gets way too bad. The same over here. That one I don't mind, actually, because it might take out a bunch of people, but uh, or rather a bunch of animals. We're going to get that one, though. And as we see, we've got a bunch of fire all over the place. Let's try and deal with these as best we can. Ah, uh, it does suck to be so uh, responsible. Oh no, Elyang is on fire. Why, why, Elyang, why, why? Please, please stop burning. It would be super good if you would stop being on fire. Thank you. Uh, there we go. Let's just try and get all of this controlled. We're going to have to expand this one. It's getting a little too, too big. Oh, Dark Havoc is on fire now. That is not good. People, <laughs> please help. This fire, they're getting too big. We're on the corner, it's doing the best. Maybe I should focus their attentions on one area at a time, honestly. But you've done a reasonable job of putting this one out. Well done, guys. Ah, oh, it's raining. Glorious rain. The gods have answered our pleas. Thank you, gods. Oh, there we go. Let's get all of that taken out. The rain will sort out everything else. Someone can haul that in. Lisa, could you bring that back for me? Right, guys, hold Now, let's actually have a look. You're fine. And you're more or less fine. Don't worry, we'll have a hospital soon. And then it'll be grand. Alright, as for these areas here, I'd actually like to have a little bit of sandbag protection over my guns if I can. There we go. Later on, I'm probably going to have uh, that a little bit less. What did we find? Uh, nothing we need to worry about right now. It's all good. Uh, right, how are our animals doing on the whole... That uh, looks like... Yeah, we're not actually particularly good. Oh, no, there we are. We've actually managed to uh, tame the alpaca. Well done. Now we just need the alpaca to be t uh, trained for release. Let's actually have a look at Dark Alex's skills at this point. How is your animal? Ooh, it's up to four. I am super duper happy with that. Are there any new animals that I can now try to tame? Also, are we actually getting anything out of our turkeys? Where are they? Um, I'm not sure that we are, to be perfectly honest with you. I'm really not sure. Uh, still, you know what, maybe I could... Because it feels odd to have this entire area back here made just for, um, building... Uh, sorry, not building, but, but making joints, effectively. It feels really, really dumb to do that. But if there was, this was also an area where we kept our animals that's a little bit more reasonable um or in fact if it was just an area where we kept our animals that would be a little bit more reasonable uh where would i be able to put my workbench yeah, you know what we can we can do it down here this this is it'll be outside but that's fine frankly that is absolutely fine we'll take this little area out and we'll have this zoned to have a roof just over it like that That'll actually work out pretty well. And this can be an indoors animal area. Which means that we're then going to need some food for our animals. So, is there perhaps an area over here which is going to be okay for that? So-so, um, really. But I think we can manage it. 
Yeah, we can we can have a little hay grass area by here, I suppose. Um, yeah, let's make this for hay grass. We do lack lack the proper area. We, in fact, we can have, we can have the hay grass. Up. You know what? There's there's something in me that likes that. There's something in me that really likes the idea of doing that. We'll have a field of grass just out, outside of our killing pit. Uh, we'll wait a little bit so I can I can do that probably because. I don't know, there's part of me that's like, well, wouldn't it be kind of nice? It's like, it's, it's like strangely the strange land, you know. You have your indoors areas, and then you just grass it. You actually have grass in your living room. It's an incredible, luxuriant thing. You just walk in, you take your shoes off, take your socks off. You just walk on the grass, and it's so delicious. Uh, good times. We'll have that in our killing pit. So that, you know, the, we're not monsters. We're going to kill them and eat them, but their last moments can be the, the lovely feeling of frolicking in a glassy field whilst also being shot to death with the certainty that you're going to be devoured later on. I, you know, it's as good with the bad, you know? Right, the hospital area has been sorted out, so let's try and build this up then. There we go. We're going to need power running up here. Uh, quite badly, actually, and we'll have it running around there. At this point, that actually makes a lot of sense then for us to have a vent on this wall. Um, because we can then have a heater in there that will... Um, I may need a, a, a rather have a heater in here, honestly. Uh, we'll have the heater just about there, I would say. Along with a lamp. So we'll pop in our lamp right about there. And we'll have definitely a lamp over there as well. Now, in here, we want a couple of beds. Minor break risk. Who's that? Oh, Nebula Bomb. What, what's up, Nebula Bomb? Have a quick glance at you. Uh, just feeling bad today. Oh, bless you. Let's have a look at you. Great with animals. Super amazingly great with animals. Um, what's your gear like? Just regular things, I guess. Yeah, that's fine. You just carry on. Carry on trucking, Nebula Bomb. Now, how are things going down here? Uh, not too terribly bad. Right, what I would actually like in here, and this is this is really dumb in a lot of ways. I'm going to have torches to hit here, and then we're going to have a crafting spot. And it's going to be right there, and we're going to have a little stool. Just because, frankly. And it's going to be a stone stool. We'll make it out of blocks, you know, because we're, we're, we're not barbarians. But... This this will be our, our, our little you know someone could just retreat there and they could just roll uh, some some smoke booth joints and it, it'll be fine. We also need a digging spot specifically, and I guess we could pop one right there. No particular reason not to, and we can set up a bill to dig soil until we have I I don't know ten. I will just slowly produce the things that we need. Uh, I'm not I'm not in a big rush for that. Well, you know what? You can also have a marble stool. There you go. Ah, glorious. We're actually getting some decent food now. Unfortunately, most of this is not going to fit in doors. We're actually getting to a point where... Now, the problem with this is that I know that a lot of that is... Ooh, steel improvised turret. I know that a lot of this is because we've got so much uh, bug meat and human meat in there. So maybe what I should do is make more of these fine meals. Let's make up to... Hmm. Let's make 20. Or even 30. As long as there's a multiple of 10, that's the main thing. And at this point, the threshold should be 10. But if it's a multiple of 10, then that's, that's grand for us, ultimately. There we go. Because these can store 10 at a time. And then we get some torches around there. It's lovely. Let's uh, move all these slate chunks out of here. And then we want the crafting spot. Basically, do forever smoke leaf. There's no point in just having smoke leaf. We may as well make smoke leaf joints out of it. Oh yeah, this mini just decided. You know what? I feel like having some delicious, delicious strawberries. There we go. And smoke leaf is being manufactured, which is a grand, I tell you. Now in here, we're going to go with more of a barn aesthetic again. I, I just like the barn aesthetic when it comes to the animal areas. Though, that being said, this wall would be particularly weak at that point. Hmm. Okay, well, I suppose it doesn't matter too much as long as we um, make the walls out of stone. 
that should be fine. Um, over here, we can have like sleeping spots and things like that. It, it, it'll it'll generally be okay. Let's also get all of that out of the way. Uh, I guess what I could do here is uh, make some more blocks of any type. Let's go up to 500 of any type of block, and um, I will unpause it so that we actually. Oh no, it is it is just flat out paused. Uh, there we go. Can I? No. Yes. Bad. Paused. Can I unpause it? No, I cannot unpause it. Apparently, that's uh, just the way it's going to be. Uh, okay. Well, we'll resume once we get up to 250. There we go. And this room. And at the moment, I'm just going to. Well, I. I, I could, I suppose, make it out of uh, sterile tile, but it does take an awful lot of silver. That being said, this is the right thing to do in a hospital, so okay, we'll, we'll invest a massive amount of our silver in making that the best kind of hospital we can for them. Has that been fixed? Should have been. Yeah, there we go. Awesome. Alright, getting everything done. Has anyone built this yet? No. Who's doing things? Oh, uh, pardon me. Um, Sleepy Joe is currently mining. Or was. Could I get Sleepy Joe not assigned to crafting? Okay, well, we'll get someone else to do that. And uh, There we are. Balthazar can do it for me. Just need a little bit of dirt here, Balthazar. If you would be so kind. There we go, getting some dirt. Now we can go ahead over here and replace this area. We need 60 dirt in total. How much have we got? We've got 50, we have got 60. Okay, you're free to go. Thank you. Once we've got all of that covered, then we'll extend out our moat, and then we'll get some lovely hay grass going there, and it'll be beautiful and wonderful and everything. Uh, ooh, unfortunately, that did not go so well. Damn it, zitzt. Where did it explode? Really? How about you not being on fire? Oh, scoundrels, you. Uh, okay, well, let's uh, get that rebuilt then. Right there, and pop this down. It's been a long time since that happened. I'm amazed that Balthazar did not get hurt by that, frankly. That was really lucky. Super duper lucky. New turkey has been tamed. Hooray! Uh, you can come and live in the animal area. Uh, all the things. Also, I need to expand that animal area, don't I? So, let's expand the animal area. No, no, no. There we go. Animal area to definitely include this one. Because we absolutely need it in there. And sure, they can go up to the hospital. I don't mind that. There we are. That should be good. We've got the dirt that we need. It's now just a case of getting someone to go and do it. Uh, Miss Minnie, can you work on the soil blueprints? Yeah, you can. Let's let's get you working on that, please. Let's get all of this done if we can. There we go. And Balthazar is just doing some more work. Okay, not too bad, all things told. Not too bad. Hopefully we'll get enough cloth in the near future to get all of that set up. Uh, we've got plenty of things going on all over the, the colony at the moment. I'm reasonably happy with where things are right now. Uh, let's also keep that down to 20 degrees. This room should be... Uh, it's fairly warm, actually, and that as well. We've got no cooling to speak of. There we go. Fantastic. Let's actually uh, dig this mode all the way out to there. And then I'm actually going to go ahead and get even more of this... Uh, covered in soil. So, sure, we're going to need to smooth the floors outside of our turrets, like so. This can remain as uh, actual flooring. Well, you know what? No. no we're we're going to convert all of this to soil, I think. That'll be rather awesome. In fact, we can start going around here converting all of that to soil as well. And there we go. Dark Havoc enjoying one of his fancy norm meals. Ah... Uh, Right, now if we could, where are my builders? What's what's Al Young up to? Well, everyone's doing a little bit of building, but I would really like it. Oh, there we are, it's done, good. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And then we'll finish this wall off, and then we're going to have a little area back here that we can use for our animals. Now, the thing is, 
I'm going to want this to remain a cavity. So, with that in mind, let's go ahead and build that out along there, and then we'll put a door right here. Now, this is going to be a very dark little corridor, but it's fine. Uh, maybe later on I'll fix that up. Probably around the time that I'm expanding out my freezer, because that's going to have to happen eventually. There we are. And now in here, we are going to want this place to be uh, probably more floors, I'm going to I'm gonna say. And we'll have this little area as a darker wood, than everyone else as the regular barn wood floors. Uh, we'll get a little bit of lighting in here. Probably just one there and then one down there as well. And that should be lovely. We can have plenty of things in there. What, what is all... Oh my goodness. Damn it, I wasn't paying attention. I just heard these explosions and it, because it wasn't saying, Oh, there's a fire, there's a fire, there's a fire. I, I wasn't even looking. But that's what happens when you don't pay attention. Massive tracts of land just get purged. Um, I mean, ideally, can someone come out and... and yeah, no, it's gone. Oh, well. If these things die, then we'll go and, go and collect the corpses, I suppose. There's another one, but it should be okay for now. Uh, generally doing alright, I would say. I don't want the smoke leaf joints in here, though. So let's make sure that that's not happening anymore. Uh, manufactured drugs? No. Don't put the drugs in there. Medicine, yes, but drugs, no. Okay, that's a bit annoying, but okay. There we are. And we should have... Actually, wow, we've got a load of... How much are they making? How much does that count as? Okay, it doesn't look like they actually... Alright, do X times. Do one more time and then stop. I'm going to have to do that on demand, I think, in the future. It doesn't look like that counts it properly. That will be a little bit of a problem. That, that would have basically consumed all of the time of my colonists for a long while. There we go, let's get all of that. Turn back into soil. Is there much... Going on up there? No, we seem to be okay. How are we doing for food? We're not actually doing that well. But we got loads of meat in here, so we don't really need to worry too much about it, I don't think. Right, as for in here, let's make ourselves a bunch of animal sleeping spots. Um, we, at the moment, will just have sleeping spots all over the place. Um, but later on. Hopefully, we can sort that out a little bit better. Now, once we've actually got animal food, we'll start storing it in there. For the time being, though, if, well, you know what, maybe we could actually get... Yeah, the hay grass. The hay grass is ready to go up at this point, so... I'm not going to restrict them only to that room just yet, but in the near future, perhaps. Uh, sure. Just have grass. Grass for as far as the eye can see. Uh, and hay grass it'll be. There we go. So, yeah, we'll get rid of these and we'll make this a little storage area for hay grass specifically. Stockpile zone right there. And we'll set this to only accept clear all, and the only thing it'll accept now is hay. That'll be a normal priority, I think. What about this one? Does this one accept hay? This one should not. Nor should it accept kibble, really. So we'll turn kibble off as well. And I'll allow kibble in there as well. There we go. Perfect. Our power is slowly charging back up, considering we lost it all very recently. We yeah, are Dark Havoc still uh, working day and night tirelessly, so that one day soon he will be able to uh, take back the affection of Yoko. Now, Yoko, let me have a quick look. What do you need? Trainable intelligence. Minimum handling skill of sex. And Dark Havoc is getting there. Soon. Dark Havoc. Soon. And it'll be grand. Uh, how are we doing with research? We're actually a fair ways off soil reclamation too. But in terms of fertilizer, 72% grown on that. Which is actually quite nice. A jailbird named Marion Parizo calls for you from nearby. She's being chased by pirates from the Loyal Vipers. She begs you for safety and offers you uh, to join your colony. Biologically, she's 26 years old. 
We're not doing badly for food. But no, I don't think we need anyone new right now. Uh, also, I would like to check this out. Uh, that should really be 10. Again, multiples of 10, please. And we'll take the, the prepared meals all the way up for a while. And we'll take... Oh, no, that's really not what I meant to do. <laughs> we'll take that up to 20, but I want the prepared meals to be all the way up to... Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll actually go all the way up to 100, I think. Go all the way up to 100 and resume on 20 or lower. This one, though, only 30. We, because only one person in the colony is eating those types of meals at the moment. We should be fine, otherwise. Right, this room is ready now for us to start adding in some furniture. I would really love to be able to put in hospital beds, but I cannot. So for the time being, I'll just be regular beds. And this will be all of them. A reasonable sized hospital once we've got this set up. Um, as for furnishings, let's get some lighting in here. There. And then just some end tables. Just to make it a little bit nicer for the people who are in there. Eventually, I would want monitors. Uh, the vitals monitors. And that would that would be perfect in that room. They can replace the end tables and things. Um, maybe you have a plant pot over there. Yeah, we'll just have a little plant pot around there. Should be quite nice. We're going to need a lot more trees, though, for all of that, I think. An awful lot more trees. So, why don't we just go do that? You know, there's loads of turkeys over there. They should be being tamed. Absolutely should be being tamed. The bear, 100%, is not going to be tamed. I'm just going to call that now. That's not happening anytime soon. Let's get you as well. How much taming does, do, does Muffalo take? Three. Okay. Then we're going to try and tame the Muffalos as well. Now, I actually really would like the Muffalos to be tamed. That would be wonderful for us. Right, these are all being built. Like, how good are they is the question. Uh, let's make them all medical. Only we don't want that one selected. Medical. Oh, there we go. Excellent. Uh, that is... Oh, it's superior. No, wow, okay. No, no, that's good. And they're popping a load of clothing into all of these things. That is... Mm, I mean, it's, it's funny and not at the same time. I'd rather they didn't, honestly. Combat supply from the Grey River Covenant. Oh, wonderful. Okay. This may be worth our time. This may be worth our time. We've actually cleared out a lot of room from in here. Where did that just happen? Really? It's not my fault. It's not my fault. 100%. I didn't do it. 100% did not do it. It was a boomalope. Can't blame me. They will blame me. But I did not do it this time. Let's get out there, please, and put all of this down. If anyone passes out, we need to rescue them and uh, hopefully get them, get them safe. They got a bit hurt with all of that. Understandable. There we go. Come on inside, then, you. Alright, who is the best... Who's our, our greatest charmer at this point? So, uh, entertaining guests. I don't think anyone particularly good. Negotiation. Where would that be? I'm not sure. Let's uh, shrink this down. Who's got the best negotiating skill? I think it still might be Sleepy Joe. Yeah, it looks like it is Sleepy Joe. Okay, then Sleepy Joe, and you are needed to go and chat. I'm gonna have a quick chat. Darklight, how are you doing, Darklight? It's just a burn. You shouldn't get worse from that, so it's fine. Uh, there we go, I was worried there. Um, right, we could sell some of our animals. There's certainly something to be said for that. And we've got a turkey, and we've got male turkeys. I'm gonna sell the old turkey. Yeah, we'll sell the old token. Um, won't buy the pemmican. I will buy all of your heel root, though. As for... We can sm sell the smoke leaf joints. And they command a reasonable price. We could also sell the ridiculous amount of wake-up that I've got. Again, a reasonable price. But what I'd rather do is sell these. Um, anything else? 
We could sell the great bow. Yeah, let's just get rid of all of these weapons. We just don't need them. Actually, I'll keep the peeler and the Molotov cocktails. Everything else, though, can go. The could get rid of our pemmican. We just don't need it. They're willing to buy it, so yeah, sure, they can they can purchase that off us. We'll sell one turkey, and that is all that we're going to sell. There we go. We got ourselves a bunch of... Dark Abbott, if you could haul those in for me. That would be great. Wonderful. Now... Those won't spoil. These don't spoil. I could have a storage up here for those medicines, I guess. Uh, sure, let's select all of them. And I want... Oh, okay, apparently I can't do that easily. But what I can do is go in here, clear all, and then allow medicines only. So weapons... Oh, no, I can't. Wow. Okay, well, in that case, I'll just copy settings and paste the settings, I suppose. Well, why aren't these being sold, though? Oh, they weren't buying any clothes. That's fine. Okay. What else is going on in the colony at the moment? We are kind of all right with the mood. It could be improved a little bit more, but we'll get there with, with a bit of time, I think. At the moment, I'm fairly happy with what we've managed to do. We've got a lot of food stocks here. A lot of food stocks, primarily due to the bug meat that we managed to get from the uh, insect infestation. And generally speaking, we're doing okay. That area is slowly reseeding itself with grass, which is grand. We've got a reasonable amount of wood around the map that we're able to bring in. And slowly but surely, we're getting things in order. We've got our hospital now. And that is a, that is a big deal for us. I would say the next thing that I really want to get is probably a area where we can start breaking down mechanoids. Let's go over to the location. Ooh, a bunch of potatoes. Sure, I'll accept that. I may also need to expand... In fact, I probably do need to expand out our, um, our freezer a little bit. But that'll be for the next episode, I think. I hope you've enjoyed this one, though, and will be joining me for the next, as ever. Remember to like if you liked, sub if you haven't, and I'll see you next time. Take care, everyone.